Understanding the interface and knowing where to find the appropriate tools is an essential skill. In this lesson, we're going to review the interface layout and learn how to search for tools. In this lesson, you're going to learn about ribbon tabs, workflows, the quick access toolbar, the search ribbon, and the backstage. Continuing in our geometry design file, let's take a look at the interface. Notice the interface is a familiar ribbon tab layout. Ribbon tabs are located across the top and give you access to each of the commands inside of each ribbon. In this particular example, we're using the drawing workflow. The drawing workflow presents these set of tabs across the top of the ribbon. Selecting a different workflow, such as Open Roads Modeling, will present you with a different set of tabs and tools under each tab. For this course, we're going to mainly be using the Geometry tab, so go ahead and select that. Also, next to the workflow, you're going to notice there's a Quick Access Toolbar. Here you have familiar tools such as Open File, Save File, Save Settings, Undo, Redo. So some of your common tools can be selected from the Quick Access Toolbar. Also, there's a search ribbon. If you're looking for a particular tool or command, simply come over to the search ribbon field. Key in a command, such as arc, and you'll be presented with all the arc commands. If you hover over a particular command, it'll show you the path to the command, as well as a direct link to the command. So if I want to activate arc between points, all I have to do is simply select on it, and it'll bring up that particular tool. Another area of the interface that you need to pay attention to is the file tab. Clicking on the file tab will take you to the backstage view. The backstage view has many other file functions that you may need as you work with the program. Here you will find help, settings, creating a new file, open, save, save as, and save settings, as well as browsing to other files. To return to the main screen, simply click on the top left arrow in the backstage view. And one last tip about the ribbon before we conclude. If you find that the ribbon is taking too much screen space, you can collapse the ribbon simply by double clicking on any of the ribbon tabs. Double click and you'll see the ribbon collapse. Double click again to expand it. You can also use the caret button to expand and minimize the ribbon as well. Now that you know how the ribbon interface works, we're ready to continue on into the next lesson. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.